everyday makeup tutorial. You guys have been asking for this in the comments and I'm so glad you did because I wanted to do this so badly. Um, so I'm going to be filming this for you guys today. I'm very excited. Um, I wear makeup almost every day. Not every day. Um, I don't wear it because I think I look ugly because I think I'm pretty cute without makeup anyways. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's just get right into it. So I've already washed my face and moisturized my skin. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is my primer. So my primer is by e.l.f. It is the Blemish Control Face Primer. I got it not that long ago. It works pretty well. I only do about like two pumps. I have like there, so. So just like two pumps. Alright, so that's the rest. Let's just call my um, primer. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to foundation. So right now, uh, it's winter here in Canada, and um, I have pretty, I'm actually pretty tan in the summer, so I go with like a dark shade, and this is uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I have um, the Hydrate and Smooth. I don't think I have the, um, I don't think I have the matte finish one, which is like, so I think this is the dewy finish. And this is the Maybelline New York Dream Liquid Mousse. I actually don't even use this. I just use this because this is too dark for me right now. So I mix them both. So usually I just I start with like the lighter color. I do maybe like three, four pumps of the lighter foundation. Because I'm definitely on the lighter side during the winter. And I just do a little bit of this tan one. Just to give me some color. Before you just gonna pour it, pours out fast. So, like, they feel like you can scoop it. Ugh. Okay, it's there. There, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. That's all I'm saying. Gotta make it work. Um, then I usually just mix it in with whatever I have. I can usually do it on the back of my hand, like this, or I will do it on what's it called? I'll do it on like a tray or something like that. So I'm gonna just put the leftover like that. Always do this. I don't know. Alright, and then we're just gonna start beating our face. Um, I use this beauty, it's not like the real thing. It's the one from like Shoppers Drug Mart or like Walmart or anything like that. You can find it. And I just pick some up and I just start hacking it on there. I always work it up into my ears, especially when you have an updo like I do right now. <laughs> updo like I do. Um, yeah, when you have like an updo or something like that, you definitely want to make sure that you're getting everything evenly. Like you can see, my forehead is darker than the actual foundation, so I always have to like bronze that up, or I usually like get my contour powder and I just make it match because darker up there and then I just use the leftover to blend it down my neck but it's pretty matched today so okay so there's the foundation so now I'm gonna be working with my Maybelline New York cover stick this is my concealer told you we work on a budget Everything that I have is from like a drugstore. I always do like the little triangle thing like that. Like how do you do that? And bring it all there. I'm just kidding. So now we're gonna put it on my nose. I do a little bit on my forehead. I don't like that much on my forehead. And I do it on my chin. I know, it's a lot of steps. But, bro, I like it. My dad always tells me I wear too much makeup and I look fake. But, you know, can't listen to the haters. Can't listen to the haters. Okay, so we are now finished. I'm blending my foundation with my concealer and my little, the high points of my face. I know the lingo, trust me. I watched enough makeup tutorials to know. 
everything. Um, so now I'm gonna take my translucent powder. This is CoverGirl translucent powder because you know we work on a budgie. Um, this is the translucent fair in 105. I go with like the lightest one because I feel like that just like brightens it up. So very good translucent powder. I usually get like there's no flashback that I, that I get um, when I like take pictures or anything like that. So this is a very good one. I'm gonna take like a little spongy, little angled sponge. And I'm just going to put it underneath the eyes and set and bake my under eyes. And I definitely like get it, oh, I don't want to hit like the light. Um, I get it like closer to the, my nose, so it kind of narrows my nose out. Um, I don't usually contour my nose. My nose is already tiny enough and I kind of like that. But I find that when I do concealer, um, here and on my nose, it can kind of fade away. So I usually just like touch the sides with my um, contour powder. Powder. Okay, so now that we're letting our concealer sit, we're gonna start with the contour. So I use the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. This was like one of my biggest buys for um, my makeup. It's pretty expensive, like twenty-three dollars. Oh my gosh. Um, I got it on sale though, so you know, we always work on a blue heat. Um, I usually take the two inner colors for the contour, this one and this one, and I just work it in. This one and this one. Tap off the excess. And I just slide my face over because this is how I do it. And I just chisel out these cheekbones that I don't have because I have a baby face. And so, oh, I'm getting. And I just touch the sides of my nose. Because I find it gets lost with my translucent powder and the concealer. Nope. Okay, so now we're going to move on to brows, which is my favorite part. Um, I, my like, last favorite was Ash Brown by the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I don't know if you can you see that. Um, these brow pencils are really good. They're usually always out of ash brown, which is like my favorite shade. So then I went to chocolate and I feel like I'm feeling chocolate better. Like I just find it a little bit darker than um, than the ash brown. It's like a spoolie on the end and then the brush on the end. I've tried the dip brows. Don't really feel it. Um, I do them like basically standard like every other person, I guess. I just do the bottom line. And then I do the top line, and then I feather out the front and do the rest darker. So I'm just going to speed through this part, because it will be a while. So now I'm going to brush off like all of my excess, um, what's it called, translucent powder, and just work it in, brush it away. I actually am really feeling the way that this makeup turned out today. It's pretty quick. So now I'm just gonna sharpen out my contour. I'm going to take my sponge and just take some translucent powder and give myself a little white beard. Um, so now as we are waiting for that to sharpen up, we're gonna move on to highlighter. So, um, I start with highlighter before I do blush. Um, my highlighter is from this NYX Professional Makeup, Love Contours All. It comes with like, there's like nine eyeshadows, two highlights, two contours, and two brow powders. So, this is it. I make this highlighter and this highlighter, and it works out very well. I love the way that it looks. This is like the first time I'm using this fan brush. Like I've never used a fan brush before for my highlight. Um, this I think was on sale as well. I think it was like $17. Oh, 
it's kind of hard to like get it in there because it's in this palette so i'm going to use a different brush this is my elf brush oh yeah by the way um the contour brush is from elf too and this kabuki brush black kabuki brush is from claire's claire's that's what i do we work on a budget i just work with what i have and it works for me so i'm going to take this and i'm just going to start highlighting Ooh, girl will not wear eyeliner like a winged eyeliner i can do them very well they are bad eyeliner oh fierce got oh wow but i don't like it i just feel like sometimes i don't feel it on my eyes you know just like get off so what i usually just do with my mascara so my best friend jenna got me this new mascara usually i would use this one it is lash princess false lash effect by essence it's probably three dollars um <laughs> and so i use this one now from jenna um it's the telescopic carbon black l'oreal paris it is so tiny so it's so cute so cute what this miniature miniature and we're gonna use it I just gotta find my little mirror. There it is. Okay. I also don't, um, another thing that I don't do is conceal after I do my brows. A lot of people do that. I just find that it makes my, like, it turns out weird for me. I don't know, I just don't like the way it looks on myself. Other people make it look great, but I just don't feel it. setting spray um i usually use the urban decay all nighter setting spray but for now i'm out of that so i'm going to be using the nyx nyx um dewy finish lasting setting spray so yeah shake it i always scrunch my face i try not to okay so so i am just going to to wash away the little foundation kind of thing that's covering my lips right now. I usually just put on some chapstick. I actually don't really like wearing lip colors. I definitely like keeping my lips the natural color. I find that it just looks good for me. And all I have on is just some chapstick now. I love to keep my lips hydrated as much as possible. So I just finished my everyday um, makeup tutorial. And so this is the finished look. I just, I keep my face simple. I find my brows and then mascara. Um, it's a lot of steps to do what I do, but I find that it doesn't look too crazy or too unnatural. I love it. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, comment down below if you guys like or want to see anything else by me um yeah yeah okay so thank you guys so much for watching love you